Welcome back to Drinks Made Easy, because cocktails don't have to be difficult. Today we're taking a look at the Sazerac cocktail, first created by Anton Peychaud in the 1830s, who was an apothecary who made a type of bitters named after him, which the principal aspect of that is gentian root, whereas Angostura bitters would be cinnamon. So he made this drink for his friends using French brandy, some bitters, a little bit of sugar, and a little bit of water, and it became known as the Peychaud cocktail. Come the 1850s, it becomes the first branded cocktail. Now there's oftentimes some confusion as to whether the Sazerac or the Old Fashioned is older. And it's kind of understandable because the Old Fashioned is technically a punch. So that was around long before the Sazerac cocktail, which was designed to be an individual serving cocktail, and that was branded under the Sazerac name. Make sense? Okay. Let's go ahead and make a Sazerac cocktail. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click on the subscribe button and the bell icon so you'll be notified every time we release a new video. To build the Sazerac cocktail, you'll start with one cube of sugar. Now, I recommend Demerara sugar, which is unbleached uh, sugar, or you can go with a white sugar cube if that's all you have. Three dashes of Pace Shot bitters, and a light splash of soda water. This is gonna to help to break down the sugar cube and integrate the sugar, the Peychauds, uh, and basically the seltzer will work as a medium. Because if you don't have all the ingredients integrated, you don't have all of your flavors. Makes sense, right? If you don't use a little touch of soda water, generally there will be a thick paste at the bottom of your glass, which is not going to blend. Next, we're gonna add two ounces of rye. If you're feeling froggy, you can always use bourbon or a different spirit. And next, we're gonna add ice. Now we stir. Now with a drink like this that's stirred, it's especially important to straw your cocktail because what you're playing with right now is the proper level of dilution, and if you're not strawing it, you're going to either over-dilute or under-dilute your cocktail. Needs a bit more. Into a pre-chilled glass, we are going to rinse it with absinthe. Now, some folks will pour a little bit of absinthe in there, swirl it around. I find that tends to uh, waste a bit of absinthe and not sometimes give you a really great coating. A great trick is to get basically a small spray bottle, fill it with absinthe so long as nothing else has been in it. Do not reuse uh, perfume sprayers. You will poison yourself. You just get a spray bottle and give a nice rinse to your glass. Now you've got a rinse glass. Pour your Sazerac in. Peel of lemon. And easy as that, you have the classic Sazerac cocktail. Mm. The Sazerac is a classic alcohol forward drink. And now, especially if you're a fan of absinthe because of the well rinsed glass, this is awesome. If you hate absinthe, I don't think there's any way you're going to enjoy this cocktail. But if you like absinthe and you like old fashions and you haven't had a Sazerac, it's time that you try one. Cheers from Drinks Made Easy.